All right, moving on. Let's start talking about fraud. What's fraud? It's really, really bad, and you're going to take advantage of somebody. Yeah. Um, inducing another to make a contract as a result of an intentionally or reckless false statement of a material fact. It's lying. Okay? So, what do we have here? Fraud in the inducement. The defrauded party intended to make the contract. Now, what does that mean? Fraud in the inducement. The defrauded party intended to make the contract. Okay? So, you hand someone a document. And you say, hey, you know, this is a contract for A, B, C, D. Um, please sign it. And say, oh, okay. They sign it. It's all good. It was actually a contract for X, Y, Z. Now, what did the what did the uh, defrauded party intend to do? They intended to enter into a contract for A, B, C, D. But what they ended up getting was a contract for X, Y, Z. They were frauded. Okay. Fraud in the execution. Defrauded party did not intend to enter into the contract. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're so cool. Can I have your autograph? Oh, oh. Da -da. Oh, thank you so much. So you take that autograph and it's actually the last page of a contract. Did the person who just gave that autograph, did they intend to enter into a contract? No. They intended to give you a, um, an autograph. So that's fraud in the execution. Okay? Now, active fraud. Party engages in action that actually caused the fraud. Look at, you know, look at express misrepresentation. Page 89 for the elements. You expressly misrepresent the facts. Okay? Concealment of a material fact. If you can conceal a material fact, fact you may have committed fraud. Oh yeah, this is a great house. Yeah, we've just painted the ceilings because they're soaked with water. You've concealed a material fact. Passive fraud. If one's relationship with another relies on trust and confidence, then silence may constitute passive fraud. So you're talking to your attorney and you say, hey, is this going to be bad? Hmm. I should probably say something, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's passive fraud. Innocent misrepresentation, false statements made in belief that it is true. Right? That's just innocent misrepresentation. That's not fraud. I actually think, hey, my motorcycle is the greatest motorcycle ever built. And you, you know, you you might think it's not. Right? This is the greatest car ever. But it's a lemon. But if I honestly believe the statement I made, I, I have made is true, that's just innocent misrepresentation. Statements of opinion um, does not, as a general rule, constitute fraud. I think this house is a great house. It's not fraud. That's what we call puffing. Okay. So fraud is basically whenever you try to induce someone. To, do, to enter into a contract, but you lie about it. 